Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Luke chapter 12, verse 3, as well as Genesis chapter 3, verse 4. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord God. Help us to see what's really there, Lord God, in the spirit, Lord Jesus. Help us to not just see the things that the world wants us to see, Lord God, reveal the things that are of the Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Luke chapter 12, verse 3. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. All right, and so this is actually Jesus speaking to the disciples. Um, to beware the the sin of the Pharisees, which is like a sin of leaven. It, it is hypocrisy, right? He is telling them to um, avoid hypocrisy and it, it spreads. It's sinful to say something one way and then go about doing something another way right? Not allowing the word to get down into you, not allowing um, God to get close to you, right? And and convict your own heart. Um, when we hear the word and we, we incorporate or tell the word, it is very important that we do the word, right? Because we don't want to be seen as hypocrites, all right? And so here, this specific verse is saying, okay, whatever you say in the dark, whatever you do, and you think that it is, you know, going to be covered or covered up and not seen by others, that's the thing that is going to be brought to the light, right? It says, therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. So it is all going to come to light, Everyone's going to hear everything. Everything's going to be made known what was said, what was done, things done in the secret places, right? We need to remember that that is death, right? If you're speaking death, then the wages of sin is death. We don't need to live like that. We have come to the light. We are children of the light. Therefore, we and our tongues have no place speaking curses and darkness and ugly things, right? We need to be not hypocrites. We need to align ourselves with the word of God, align our actions with the word of God, align our speech with our actions, right? And so that allows us to not be hypocrites, all right? And so this is completed today with Genesis chapter three, verse four, but the serpent said to the woman, you shall not surely die, so here the serpent in itself, and the reason why this is completed, the serpent is speaking something that is basically not true in the same way that hypocrisy is a sin. When you speak a lot, it's a sin, right? It, it's basically not, um, it, it, here, this thing that the serpent was saying to the woman was a truth laced in a lie. Right. So it was uh, partly what he was saying, you know, yes, if she ate the fruit, she would not initially die, like not immediately. When you think of death, like you, she's not she wasn't going to drop dead, but she was going to spiritually die. Right. She was going to instantly spiritually die a, a certain type of death. Right. Because why? Because she was allowing sin into her and the wages of sin is death. So she was receiving death into her. And then also she was going to die a physical death because she didn't have to actually die a physical death. Remember, um, even, um, even Adam were able to live eternally in the garden. All they had to do was continuously eat the fruit that God told them and also eat from that knowledge of the tree, good, uh, not good and evil, the tree of life. They were, they, as long as they would have been able to eat from the tree of life, they would have lived forever. Right. And as long as they stayed away from the, eat, the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. 
So, but because they ate of that tree, that's when they accepted death into them and they were not allowed to eat from that eternal, um, that tree of eternal life because they would have, you know, been forever in this, this um, damned state, right? This, this condemned state of being. And God did not want that for them. He wanted for them to be able to have a glorified body and live forever. So it says, but the serpent said to the woman, you shall not surely die. And she did. She died a spiritual death, um, Eve and Adam, but they also died a physical death that would eventually come with time. So in that same way where it, um, the serpent was lying to the woman, he was, he was he was actually being a hypocrite, right? Just like the Pharisees, because he had already fallen, right? So he knew what it meant to fall. He knew what it meant to um to sin and to die. And yet he was trying to pretend to speak life to them and say, Oh, I'm 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 only, you know, educating you. I'm only letting you know what the real truth is, right? But yet he was living some other kind of way in darkness. And so in the same way, that's what the Pharisees were doing. They were saying something with their words, but their actions and their and their words were not aligning together. That is not of God. And holiness is not just something that you can physically see. It's something that is of the heart, right? God judges those things, all right, and so that is the completion for today. Let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for helping us to discern, Lord God, helping us to see what is truly there, Lord God. Thank you for taking the wage of sin from us, Lord God, for all of our sins that we have committed, Lord God, and will commit. We love you. We thank you. We praise you. We ask you to continue to keep us and watch over us, your children, Lord God. Help us to not be people who are hypocrites. Help us to be people who live out our calling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Well, let me give you the invitation. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross. And I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Jesus, for doing this for me. Father God, forgive me of all my sins. Be my Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth meaning he is going to show you the way he is going to lead you in right paths. Amen. He is not going to lead you astray. He's going to show you the way that God has for you. Um, so listen to the Holy Spirit, go out, find a church home that the Holy Spirit is leading you to, um, find those other believers who you should be around so that you could stay sharp in the word of God. Um, go out, make disciples of all men, go be baptized in Jesus name, in the name of the father, the son, and the Holy spirit in the name of Jesus. And then also, you know, just go and and do the will of the father. Amen. All right, you guys may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you as children, his peace. Take care.